So Good opened its doors in 2017, bringing seafood and comfort food with a southern flair to Garrison, South Dakota. The small town restaurant has been drawing the praise of locals since day one, but its popularity hit new heights following a recent appearance on a national television show. In tonight's Eye on Catalan, Travis Fossian introduces you to the owner and chef of Oh So Good. After a long weekend of serving fine food in a city of less than 1,200 people, Oh So Good is closed. But owner Omar Thornton is busy preparing food for Meals on Wheels in Garrison. First thing out of my mouth was yes. Showing no hesitation, Omar prepares 18 meals a day, five days a week, before a single customer sets foot in the restaurant. You know, I have the blessing to have a uh, restaurant. Um, I have the talent to be able to cook. Uh, that's a no-brainer. Uh, let's cook for them. He's willing to share his gift, but wasn't always much of a cook. A lot of people don't realize I could not cook coming out of high school. A young single man in California, Omar also didn't have much money, meaning dinner dates were not an option. A friend had the answer. Learn how to cook three things really, really good, and then you can invite folks over and cook those three things. So I learned how to cook a good pasta meal, a good steak meal, and then like a good salad. So if I had more than two dates, you understand that I was stuck. So <laughs> Omar's mom helped him add to his repertoire. Thornton decided to move to the Midwest in the early 2000s and eventually met his wife, Renee, who convinced him to become a chef. Today, the kid who refused to eat seafood is pushing the limits of cuisine. The food's spectacular. It's spectacular. We love it. We love everything on the menu. The flavors are amazing. You know when you visit with people and you, you can tell right away, this person has a passion. Like, that's the way he is. He loves what he does and he's very good at it. Garrettson Mayor Greg Beener is a regular at Oh So Good. His favorite dish is Chef Omar's jambalaya. I've tried to copy it, and I've tried everything I can, and it is never even close to as good as his. So <laughs> I don't know what he does, but it's awesome. When asked what dish he enjoys cooking most, Omar says food. More specifically, everything. I think Guy Fieri said it the best when he said that here's a box that everybody else is in, and for some reason, Omar, you're way over here doing whatever you think <laughs> is supposed to do, but somehow it works. A Midwest Down South mashup. Did I mention Oh So Good was recently featured on Food Network's Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives? I have people that are coming down from Watertown just to eat here. You know, it's like, okay, we're taking a drive. We were a part of it and um, it was fun. For a small town to experience that, it's pretty cool. Omar's also seen customers from Yankton, Mitchell and cities all over the map. Be careful what you wish for. Uh, <laughs> it's a pleasant stress to have, but it has definitely been a roller coaster. As Omar rides the highs and lows, he's also prepping the next generation of chefs. He sees a rising star in 18 year old sous chef Colby Bottlebird. I started as a dish for about a year, and then Omar asked if I wanted to move up to a cook. I was kind of like scared at the time because I was only 15. I was like, really? What? When he first got here, he was just that fresh teenager that was looking for a summer job and he started off as a server. He then decided he wanted to learn more on cooking. Um, and it's been, uh, it's been amazing to watch him grow. Days removed from his 18th birthday, Bottleberg is considered a quiet yet effective leader in the kitchen. It's the thrill at the moment of like all these tickets coming in at once and you're like, I got to do all this, but it, it gets stressful sometimes, but at the same time, it's kind of like, I get to do all this. Like, this is my opportunity to show myself or prove myself almost. Like, I can do all this. A lot of folks don't realize just how talented this young kid is. Bottleberg is quick to return the compliment to his boss. He has a really big heart. He's always trying to like help people no matter what he does. And even if it doesn't seem like it at the time, in the end game, he's really actually trying to help people. He's definitely unique and fun. He comes around to your table and chats with you and makes sure your food is good. And he's a fun guy to be around. Just another reason oh so good is oh so popular. <laughs> with Eye on Kelloland, I'm Travis Fossing. Looks delicious. And Omar has been receiving phone calls from chefs across the country after complimenting the look of his food they often ask if oh so good is actually open during the pandemic he's happy to answer yes